Organic farming. Heard of it? If you go to grocery stores a lot, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Organically grown products are taking the world by storm, and are finally making their comeback against conventional farming. They are leaving the pesticides in the dust, and becoming a new favorite all around the world. If you don't go to grocery stores that much, then here's organic farming in a nutshell. Organic farming is using factors found in nature to grow and cultivate crops. If you want the official definition, here it is. I'm not going to bother reading it because it's a lot of words. So if you understood that definition, that's great. But if you didn't, let's dig a little deeper into what organic farming actually is. Organic farming is the process of using natural factors to grow crops, including using natural fertilizers, using predators to control pests, and increasing biodiversity. If you've been to places like Brentwood here in California, then you might have seen an organic farm. They might not look that different, but they stand out because of a few reasons. One reason is because of, well, all the billboards saying organic farm in bold letters. But the more scientific reason is because they likely contain more types of crops, have much better soil quality, and have better irrigation. So how does it work? Well, the first step is to plant some seeds. That's it. Okay, not entirely, but you're already almost 50% of the way there. The rest is just maintenance. You need to add quality soil with lots of nutrients for your plants to grow well. Make sure you add proper compost to your plants. Mulch, and even banana peels are a good source of compost. Also, research about your particular plants to know how much water you should give them. Remember, too little water is harmful, but too much water can be just as devastating. Keep doing this, and you'll be pretty close to done. But there's one important step. You need to make sure you rotate your crops every year or so. This is a time-tested method, and it is necessary to prevent harmful pests and diseases from accumulating in your soil. Then comes the final step. It may perhaps be the most important of them all. Harvest your plants and enjoy them. That's all there is to organic farming. Anybody can do it with even just a little bit of space or a small pot. And lots of people do it. Let's take a look at one country. How about India? India provides the highest amount of organic products in the world, and it's all thanks to its 835,000 organic farmers. One main reason why India and the rest of the world have so many organic farmers is because of the recent research done into the negatives of pesticides. Research conducted into the properties of pesticides show that they contain chemicals known to cause cancer. These chemicals include glyphosate, chlordane, and some others. These cause damage to the respiratory, digestive, and nervous systems. Also, according to the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, pesticides carry diseases like malaria and typhus. Let's take an example. How about Mount Hood, Oregon? Mount Hood is known for its beautiful flower orchards that you can run through and feel like a movie star in. But it's also known for another reason. It's toxic. Mount Hood has the highest cancer rate in the state, and pesticides are the main reason. Pesticides also run off into groundwater streams, making them toxic and undrinkable. So pesticides are obviously not healthy. Is it just in Mount Hood? No, it's everywhere. According to the Daily Mail, the number of reported deaths as a result of pesticide usage around the world is 18,000 annually. 18,000. And those are only the reported ones. In contrast, organic farming is very healthy with so many benefits. Organic foods are very nutrient dense. If we backtrack towards the step to planting your own organic garden, you might remember that I said to plant your seed in nutrient dense soil. Well, here's why. Spending time in nutrient rich soil leads to absorption of th certain things that we need, such as vitamins and minerals. On the contrary, spending time in pesticide rich soil will lead to foods that absorb pesticides another reason to switch to organic foods. Another, another benefit is that organic farming reduces the rate of soil erosion. Soil erosion is a process where topsoil gets removed from the rest of it. This strips the soil of its nutrients and prevents an area of land from being used for farming 
ever again. While using pesticides greatly speeds up this process, while using natural fertilizers greatly slows down this process. So that's that. Organic farming is much better than conventional farming in many aspects. So get planting. But wait, you might be saying easier said than done. And I agree, that's a valid point. Anyone can talk about doing extra work, but it takes a little more to actually go out and do it. But I'm choosing to talk about organic farming because I've gone in my backyard and done some planting of my own. Also, I'm lucky to have someone in my house who loves organic farming as much as I do. My dad. My family and I moved here to San Ramon about six years ago. Within a few weeks of getting settled in, my dad had already planted some seeds, fruits and vegetables, really anything he could find. One month passed, two months, and then boom, we got our first taste of tomatoes from our own backyard. Ever since then, I've been trying to help him wherever I could. Back when we lived in Dublin, the same thing happened. But back then, I was still a kid. I like to think that I was a crucial part of my dad's expedition to turn our backyard into a garden. If you ask him today, he'll probably say that I was very helpful and that it would have been much harder without me. But to be honest, I think I just kicked a ball outside and told myself I was helping. But in sixth grade, I planted my first seed. It was a small carrot, and I'm proud to say that I took good care of it. In a few months, I got to witness my first harvest. I could never forget that feeling of joy and accomplishment. After that, I was involved in planting seeds, watering them, and finally, the best part, picking and enjoying them. This is my backyard today. It is a perfect illustration of how much of an impact even one person can have towards a fully organic garden. So start planting, and pretty soon, your actions can benefit the environment and everything around it. Grab that shovel, plant that seed, and watch as it grows into a healthy, nutritious, and beautiful plant. Thank you.